My favorite thing about living in the big city, though, is taco trucks. I love them. And not just for, I, I think that it's a fad that people love them. I have a real, being from Harvest, Alabama, we don't have Taco Bell. We have, we have Taco Bell, which is a 15 minute drive away. Some of y'all get that. It's like a whole new game of Oregon Trail. <laughs> you know, it's a tough trip, you know? You don't want to take it around 11 p.m. I never dreamed that Taco Bell would grow wheels and come to me. <laughs> I never saw that coming. And then this taco truck that I saw not too long ago had a flat tire and the menu was written in crayon. That's perfect. Where I'm from, down south, the worse the venue, the better the food. If you're ever driving through Alabama and you see a porta potty billowing smoke, pull in and order the full slab. <laughs> Get some potato salad. Have an afternoon for yourself. <laughs> I walked up to the window, and the left side of the window was a big bottle of green sauce. It said, Four Wimps. On the other side, a big bottle of red sauce written on that, not Four Wimps. I'm just like, y'all, I've never been confronted by salsa before. I was wearing some jeans that Brett Favre does commercials for. I'm gonna give a little pushback, you know? About that time, a young lady came up. She grabbed that tough guy sauce, poured it all over her burrito. I was immediately inspired. I went over there and grabbed it and poured it all over mine. Went back to my apartment. It's about 11 p.m. at night. That's good taco truck time. And fourth meal is my favorite meal. I love, four, I love eating dinner twice. And I don't have to sell y'all on that. I carry my work around. But it's also one of the main reasons I love it. It's the only, only meal you can take your pants off for. And you don't have to believe me. Tomorrow when you're making a bowl of cereal, pull your jeans down. The family will leave the kitchen. But around midnight, taking your pants off is just a declaration that you're done with that day. No more emails or text messages. I'm in my underwear and a t-shirt. We're going to heat up this Chinese food and I'm going to call it a night. I remember I grabbed this burrito. And you wanna, when you eat fourth meal, you want to get in front of the TV, you know? Watch something fun, something different. I like to watch Unsolved Mysteries sometimes. You know, whole family's dead. Who did that? You know, that's crazy. We got to go get them. You know, they're out there still. And y'all got a movie or something? <laughs> Burritos from taco trucks are incredible. They look like toddlers with aluminum foil wrapped around them. <laughs> y'all know what I'm, I mean? Big, big, big. I grabbed this thing. I took a bite out of it. And what happened to me has happened to everybody in this room. My face caught on fire. <laughs> And it wasn't like, oh, I've got too much Texas peat on my bagel bites. It was like, no, there's real flames on my face. I think my neighbor stays up late. I could use his help. <laughs> We've all been there. I got bumped in the turn. I wasn't out of this race. What do you need when something's too spicy? Some milk, some dairy. You're at a Mexican restaurant and the nachos are spicy. You don't send them back. You go, excuse me, ma'am. These nachos are being a little bit of a peel. Could we get one more sour cream? And then you smash it. Okay, I know there's somebody in this room that's like, must be nice to eat as much dairy as you want, Derek. <laughs> uh, where are you? You're probably the same person that gets three pounds of nachos and you put one dollop of sour cream on top and, and that's what made you poop in your hallway. I don't buy it. I'm sick of people eating ice cream out of mixing bowls and they are shocked when they have to fart. I'm over that. I don't know when it started, like 2009, somebody was like, dairy makes my tummy hurt. Dairy is supposed to make your tummy hurt. <laughs> when doesn't it? And we eat dairy like psychos in this country. We get a glass, the same glass we water our ferns with, and we fill it all the way to the top, and we chug it and go, oh my goodness, I might poop. <laughs> it might happen. Let me tell you something. If you eat a bunch of dairy and in the next three days you don't go to the bathroom and really impress yourself, go to the hospital! <laughs> I did this bit in Wisconsin and they carried me into the streets. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna tell a joke here in a minute. I don't know, somebody's like, he hasn't told one joke. He's just mad at us. He's not. I've been to these and they tell jokes. He he is mad at us. I've never met him. Have you met him? I finished off that burrito because I had some milk. I wiped off the counters, hit the lights. 
went upstairs and made the mistake of the night. I scratched my backside. Let me tell y'all something. It's easy in this moment to be judgmental, okay? It's easy, it's easy. We're, we're live, you know? But I want y'all to know something. Here was the problem. Here's where the problem lies. Where I'm from down south, our hot sauce is vinegar based, okay? Frank's, Texas Pete, Louisiana, it's just spicy vinegar. And if it gets on your hands, it doesn't matter. It's just silly red water. That's so silly, look at that. That's so silly. Out west, if you get a hold of a true Hispanic hot sauce, it'll be pepper based. And if it gets in your sweat glands, and you don't pressure wash it off, it's still live. So when I touched my backside, I started a brush fire immediately. I mean, I felt a sting sting. And I'm just as nervous as y'all. I can't touch my toes. I need milk on my butt, maybe. You know, I need something crazy. I thought about just pouring it in the floor and sopping it like a biscuit. I'll just sit in it. I need to sit in milk. I panicked like anybody else would, you know? Freaked out. Ran over to the freezer. Grabbed an ice cube. And at this point, it was, it was a real serious situation, you know? I mean, I was hoo hoo ha, hoo hoo ha. One of those, it wasn't one of those where I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna fight it off tonight. I needed an ice cube. And I remember I grabbed that ice cube and I was nervous about it. For some reason, I thought about the Christmas story where the kid's tongue gets stuck to the pole. And so that made me nervous for some reason. So I remember I, I sucked on the ice cube just a little bit and I squatted down with that thing. No, you're gonna watch me do this. You're gonna know, we're gonna put this in together. As soon as that thing touched me, it sounded like fajitas from Chili's, my man. Y'all been so much fun. Thank y'all for hanging out. Thank y'all, Provo. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to download the Drybar app. And when you do, use the promo code Derek Stroop to sign up. Thanks, y'all.